Thermal electric cooling is subambient cooling, and this is the EK Quantum Delta Squared Tech. So I'm going to be working on this tonight to put it on a 13900KS processor. Let's continue with the build process in the Leanly O11 Dynamic Evo. I have an extra Thermaltake Tough Power GF3 1200 watt 80 plus gold power supply unit laying around. So we're going to use this because it does have the new standard ATX 3.0, which is compatible with 4090s, which we will be using in this build. The O11 Dynamic Evo gives us two spots. We can put the power supply unit right here or down here. So we're actually going to put it right down here because one, the fan is going to be on this side and then we have all the ports right here. So we'll probably plug in everything that we need first and then go ahead and screw this in just because it's not a lot of space right there. This also gives us the ability to have access to the back of the motherboard because we definitely want that because of the tech cooling. This is the motherboard we're gonna be using. It's the MSI Z790 Carbon Wi-Fi and we need access to the back of it to put extra padding right here. This will be about 210 watts of power going to this cooler to suck the heat away from the 13900KS processor. This is the water block for it. This is the EK Quantum Delta Squared Tech. And then this is the actual control box that's going to sense when condensation is starting to build up and therefore it's going to adjust everything it needs to to make sure that we don't have any condensation. This is the backside and you'll notice this rubber seal makes it so it's its own environment to help prevent condensation. And for the control box, we're probably going to mount it right about here. So drop a follow. We have a lot of work to do for this PC build.